The Raptors need to trade for Spencer Dinwiddie. Let's get into this. The Toronto Raptors had an up and down season so far this year, but they're starting to figure it out, but they're running into one issue, bench scoring. Similar to the Spurs, the Raptors are known for playing really, really good team basketball, but they lack a true superstar on their roster. The jury's still out on Pascal Siakam and whether he can be a true superstar. This year was really his season to prove that he could do that, but he's struggling a little bit. At the beginning of the season, Siakam really struggled with being the main option on a good team, but as the season went on, he definitely did improve his game. Even with Siakam improving his game and players like Kyle Lowry, who is on the trade block right now, so his future with the Raptors is uncertain, but with him and Fred Van Vliet, who's been playing really well this year, the Raptors still lack scoring off the bench, and the player like Spencer Dinwiddie, who potentially is on the block from the Nets, is a perfect guy to fill that need. Spencer Dinwiddie got hurt in the third game of the season for the Nets, where he tore his ACL, which is typically at least a year injury, but he posted some things on his Instagram that would suggest that he might be ahead of schedule and may be able to come back this season. The reason why it's a possibility that he might be able to come back this season is because his ACL tear was a partial tear, which would mean the injury is less significant significant and also would make the recovery time less. If Dinwiddie is able to come back this season, he helps the Raptors significantly off the bench in the playoffs where he would be able to put up 20 point nights with ease. The Raptors wouldn't have to worry about offense even when Siakam, Kyle Lowry if he's still there, and Fred Van Vliet are off the court because Dinwiddie is such a bucket and it can lead a team offensively. Even if Dinwiddie comes back or if he doesn't come back this season, I still think the Raptors should trade for Dinwiddie just because they really have a scoring need off the bench and he fills that. And he also has a really team friendly contract only making 11 million per year. And he's also signed through next offseason. And because Dinwiddie is hurt right now and he's technically damaged goods, the Raptors could probably get him for a cheaper deal than they usually would be able to. A realistic deal that I feel like could get the deal done for Dinwiddie would probably be a package of Norman Powell and maybe a late first round pick or maybe two second round picks or maybe they can go another route where they do Norman Powell and another role player on top of a second round pick or two that would also probably get the deal done. Either way, I think this value is a bargain considering how good I think Spencer Dinwiddie is as a scorer and also a really good player that can lead a bench unit. Dinwiddie 100% has the talent to be a starter, but on a team like the Raptors, I don't think that would really be needed. Unless the Raptors were to trade Kyle Lowry, which would change everything, a starting lineup of Fred Van Vliet and Spencer Dinwiddie could be pretty lethal, especially offensively. Either way, no matter what happens, I think the Raptors would significantly benefit from trading for a guy like Spencer Dinwiddie, who they can currently get on the cheap because of his injury. Spencer Dinwiddie is also pretty young, only 27 years old, so signing him to another deal wouldn't be that risky. The Nets also had some rumors out that they were shopping Spencer Dinwiddie, which would also lower his value and help the Raptors be able to acquire him without giving up as many assets. Dinwiddie could of course still play in lineups with Pascal Siakam, which would take more pressure off Siakam, as well as play in lineups with Fred Van Vliet, which I think the two of them would be a great one-two punch. If the Raptors were able to acquire Spencer Dinwiddie and also trade Kai Lowry in order to get some bigs that can play defense, I think that team could be really lethal going forward. Dinwiddie can score in a multitude of ways. He's extremely effective isolating by himself and creating his own shot, or he can also play really well in the pick and roll where he could break down the defense and kick out to either the rolling center, the popping center, or he can kick out to one of his teammates for a wide open three. The Raptors are definitely a pretty good team that struggled early on, but are getting better as time goes on, but a player like Dinwiddie would really help them take their game to the next level. With Kawhi no longer on the Raptors after signing with the Clippers last season, and not in any Eastern Conference team obviously, the Eastern Conference is completely wide open, with no team as a clear favorite. The Nets and Sixers are both looking really good, but for the Sixers, they had the relatively same team for years now, and they're known for not being able to get over the hump. And right after signing Doc Rivers, who's a pretty good coach in the regular season, he has a pretty shaky record, especially of 3-1 in the playoffs. And for the Nets, they do have three true NBA superstars, but they're all in their first season together. And the Nets do have some defensive issues, and as seen with the Miami Heat, when they form their big three, it takes a little time. I really think the Raptors should trade for Spencer Dinwiddie. But let me know in the comments if you think the Raptors should go after a guy like Spencer Dinwiddie or maybe they should go after someone else or maybe they should keep their team as currently constructed and try to build through that. I hope you guys enjoy the video and until next time, peace out.